Hey guys, so I'm back up here in the kitchen and I've got my first red snapper. Now, I'm not sure, I might have picked this a little bit too early. Um, I was going to give it another couple days, but my son was in the garden helping me pick tonight and he decided this one needed to be picked before I could say no. So, um, I'm going to try it. It looks okay. Um, it, it's still a little bit... Uh, firm, but um, I think it's gonna be okay. So here goes the first try of the red snapper Wow That's good Mmm That is a good tomato Sorry to see you eat in front of you, but it's good. That is a really good tomato. It's not quite like the uh, Jubilee or one of my Bradleys that I've talked about, but it's good. It really is. Um, I think with the being a little bit, I've got some more out there about the same ripeness. So in a day or two, they're going to be right, I think. And I'll try them again. But that is a good eating tomato. It really is. Be excellent on a sandwich or a burger or whatever. Um, it's um, really tasty. Let me show you tonight. It's this afternoon's harvest. I've been really getting some good harvest. And um, look at all this. I've got cherry tomatoes i got my let me see here let me get back up here where i can see yellow pear this is those um sweetie cherries they're pretty good they're not my, they're not they are not as good as these sun goals there's just no way i do have a couple bradley's here i picked tonight and a whole huge pile of pepperoncinis. I got a huge pile of those things going on. So I'm really proud of, of my harvest. I've been been harvesting about that many cherry tomatoes every night this week. Um, it started last week, but it really picked up this week. And so I, this is about what I've been getting every night. I've been freezing some. I'll talk about that later. Uh, but that is my first red snapper. And that is my first taste of the red snapper tomato. And I'm really, really excited about those tomatoes. Can't wait to try a few more. So um, I'm gonna close this video out right now and I'll come back um, here in a day or two and continue on with it and show you some more red snapper uh, harvest. I appreciate you watching and I'll see y'all here later. Hey guys, I'm back up here in the barn. Made a little stroll through the red snapper patch and I picked a few more. So uh, just picked four. I've got one at the house that I already picked early this morning. And um, so that would be six red snappers that I've picked so far. Uh, now, my early, the first part of this video was a couple nights ago or I tasted my first one. And boy, that was good. I can't wait to taste one of these. It's a little bit more riper than that one, but it was still a good tomato. So um, I'm going to be trying that here probably tonight and they have me one tonight but um, and i won't worry about recording that but um, just so you know I, I think so far these have been some really good tomatoes really productive tomatoes um they and big tomato big healthy looking tomatoes so i um i've got i got a whole bunch more out there to pick and uh, so i'll take those up at the house and uh, do something with these and hopefully get some more here soon um, but um, I'm really really impressed with this red snapper variety and it's got a little spot on it a little worm hole nothing bad um, I didn't want to mention that I saw some comments on row by row Facebook group the other day somebody asked what's wrong with my tomato it looks like this or it's got splitting or a little bug hole you know or I had somebody even ask me the other day uptown and they know I garden and was asking me what do you do with you know about worms and that kind of stuff i said well you can spray you know and try to get rid of it but you're not gonna get rid of all of it 
this is homegrown produce, okay? Um, this is natural, organic. That stuff you buy at the store um, is, is not. And so you're gonna have little blemishes on it, and that's just part of it. I'm, I'm not worried about that. I, there's, there's too much going on in this world for me to stress about a little wormhole and a long tomato. I'm still gonna eat this tomato, and it's a good tomato. So um, don't, don't, don't stress about that kind of stuff. Um, you know, if, if a tomato looks bad enough and messed up enough and I can't cut around the bad spot, toss it to the chickens and they love it. So it all, it all has a use around here, around our place. So I don't worry about it too much. Um, I've, um, but I'm really proud of my tomatoes this year. I'm definitely going to be growing some more of these. Um, I've actually got a tray of, um, I started another 24 cell tray of these that I'm gonna to try to do a sort of an intermediate crop and see if I can keep them watered up and cooled off enough to get some more tomatoes. We'll see. Um, and then probably in about a few more weeks, I'm gonna start another uh, a late crop of tomatoes. I'm not sure what I'm gonna plant for those, but I'm gonna do that also. But um, I appreciate you watching this one. This was all about the red snapper mostly. But um, check these out. Hoss is out of these seeds right now. You can't get any right now. But um, I'm going to be watching for those because I want to get some more for next year for sure. So hopefully I can get some here this fall maybe whenever they get some more uh, back in stock because I really do like these tomatoes. So I appreciate you watching this one. Please leave me a comment if you stop by. Uh, tell me what your favorite tomato is and, and let me know what you're growing, how your tomatoes are growing. Uh, if you can't tell, I love tomatoes. So y'all take care and I'll catch you on the next video. Goodbye.